Hello everyone, I'm Shamant Goda, CSAT faculty at Insights IAS. I welcome you once again for the CSAT question of the day series. In the last video, I have given one homework which is called the bouncer of the day. The question was saying, what is the angle between hour end and minute end when the clock shows 425? Okay, in the last video also I have shown you a small trick where I have explained that angle between minute to hour end okay, is equal to hour into 30 minus minute into 11 by 2. R is 4, right? 4 into 30 minus minute is 25, 25 into 11 by 2, which is 4 into 30 is 120 minus 25 into 11 is 275, 275 by 2 is nothing but 137.5. Okay, 120 minus 137.5 is difference is 17.5 degrees. Okay, difference, do not take it as minus, it is a difference. Difference is 17.5. Do you have the answer? Yes. Okay, if you have known this much, okay, you could have got two and a half marks in the recently concluded CSAT paper within some 30 seconds. Today, I have picked a question which is based on the factorization, but the question will not be asked in factors. Okay, will ask the question in this manner. Find the number of zeros at the end of 5 into 10 into 15 into 20 into 25, 30, 35, 45, 50, 55 and 60. Now, if I multiply everything here, definitely this has to end with 0. The question is how many zeros? Okay, the number of zeros. Now, the question is very simple if you understand the logic behind this question. Now, how a 0 is produced? For example, 10. 10 is a factor of 2 and 5. Similarly, 100 if you take this is 2 into 2 I can write into 5 into 5. Means I can do this in this manner 2 square into 5 square. Okay. Similarly here, if I give an example of 2 square into 5 square into 3 power 1, this also has to end with 0 because 2 into 5 is 0. 0 when you multiply with anything that will end with 0 only. Here we have two twos and two fives. A one two will multiply with one of the five and produces one zero. Another two multiplies with another five and produces another zero. This expression has to end with two zeros then. Another example, two power six into five power four into seven power one into three power four. We need only two and fives, okay? Irrespective of how many sevens, threes or any other numbers we have, we need only 2 and 5s. Here, one of the two gets multiplied with 5 and produces 0. Another 2 multiplies with 5 and produces 0. 2 multiplies with 5 and produces 0. Another 2 multiplies with and 5 and produces 0. Here, 4 5s multiplies with 4 2s and gets 4 zeros. Another 2 2s does not have a pair to make with 5. Hence, 4 only zeros here. Whichever the power less for 2s and 5s that many zeros. For example, 2 power 10 into 5 power 12, how many zeros? This power is less, hence 10 zeros. Okay. 2 power 16 into 5 power 10, how many zeros? 10 zeros because this is the power less. Okay. This can be combined with 10 twos and produces 0. Okay. Now, to solve this question, let us count how many 5s and how many 2s we have. Inside this 5, we have only one 5. Inside this 10, we have 1, 2 and a 1, 5. Okay, that is 2 into 5, right? Similarly, here in this we have 3 and 5. 3 is not our concern. That is why I am counting only 5. This 20 can be written as 4 into 5. 4 means 2, 2s. Okay, similarly, in this 25, we have 2, 5s. In this 30, we have a 2 and a 5. Okay, this can be written as 6 into 5. In this 6, we have a 2. Okay, 6 is nothing but 2 into 3, right? But 3 is not our concern, I am taking only 2. Similarly, 35, 7 into 5, 7 we do not want, 5 I will take, 40, that is 8 into 5, 8 means 2 twos, 3 twos and a 5, 3 twos and a 5, 45, 9 into 5, 9 we do not have 2, hence I am taking only 5 here, this is 50, 50 means 2 into 5 into 5, okay, so 1, 2 and 2 5s are there, here 55, only one 5, another one is 11. In this case, this is 4 into 15. 4 into 15 means 4 is nothing but 2 2s, 15, 3 into 5, but 3 we do not want. 
5s. Now I will count how many 2s I have written 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 2s are there. Okay, 2 power 10. Similarly, 5s 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 we have. Okay, fives we have 14 in number, whichever the power less among these 2 and 5 that many zeros you will get. Okay, so this expression has to end with 10 zeros. Okay, I hope you have understood and enjoy this concept. This kind of questions are being asked every year in the exam. This is the bouncer of the day and this is your homework question. Try to solve this question and put the answer in the comment section guys. Okay, this question says find the number of zeros at the end in 100 factorial. This is factorial and your options are 20, 24, 25, 27. And the answer for this question and the explanation I will give you in the next video. Thank you. I will see you in the next video.